If you have an E2 error on your device, you'll need to follow these steps to get the error fixed permanently. Before we begin, you'll need a PC running Windows 7 or Windows 8, and you'll also need to download the Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.5 and Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2013. First, you'll want to make sure you have your Cronus Max connected to your PC through its PC program port located on the side of the unit. You'll then want to turn your unit over, locate the reset button, and then using a paper clip or other small object, you'll press the button two times, and you will now see a P on the LED screen. This means the device is now ready to be programmed. Next you'll want to open the Cronus Max firmware downgrade tool and click the one click quick recovery button. Your device will flash to firmware version 1.44 your E2 error will be gone, and the LED on your device will now show that it's in waiting mode. You're now able to upgrade your device to Cronus Max Plus.